Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesca and what I do in these videos is help educate you about productivity tools and resources to help you move forward with your productivity. So in this video, what I wanted to do is show you an application that really does what it says on the tin. So Simple Note is a Evernote competitor, um, and it's also a competitor of most other note applications uh, out there. And I also mentioned Simple Note in a recent Medium post because I believe it does have some relevance for anyone really looking for a dead simple experience to get started with. And I'm and I am impressed at how simple and easy it is to get started with Simple Note. So I'm going to show you Simple Note Web today and basically just give you a kind of 101 of how to use it and uh, what I think of it so far. So as you can see, this is my account in front of me. On the far left hand side, you've got on the far left hand side, you've got some previews of all of the notes you've written so far. As you can see, you can start entering the title straight away. You can actually start uh, really just typing away um, into this. So if I tip hello, how are you? Um, or you can create lists specifically and that'll do it for you. As you can see, there's not really much anything. There's not really much to this. Uh, you can actually, you actually can't change the panel across. Um, so it's a very structured experience. It's not like you can really edit this uh, hugely. As you can see down here, there's not really any indication of any text formatting tools. Um, you really let go with anything you've got there. So it's a very distraction free experience. Up here, you can actually see whether the document's been saved or synced with the service. And one thing I'm actually impressed by, both with the iOS application um, and the web application, is the simplicity of its connection to each other. So the sync works incredibly well. Um, probably even better than Evernote in some ways, but you know, then again, it doesn't really have to sync a great deal. You can't really add imagery to any of the web stuff. So you're really kind of just typing up documents uh, or you're typing up long uh, articles. But one thing I really like about this is it actually works really well with Grammarly. So Grammarly is a tool, a Chrome extension that allows you to kind of analyze all your text. So this could be something that you use to kind of scrubble out a long document that you would have normally written in Google Docs and then get it checked by Grammarly and dumped into Google Docs and PDF off to someone. But anyway, that might be a long distance uh, appeal. So, for example, uh, you can create lists. I mean, you actually have to type in uh, the slash. It doesn't, it doesn't even give you any uh, bullet pointing, which is really quite strange because obviously that's one of the core features. Up here, you can actually see all of the tags that everything's related to. Um, so up here, all uh, notes, uh, trash, uh, which you can empty as well. So it's kind of... Uh, uh, you can permanently delete your trash notes, which is quite cool. Uh, and then you can see I've created a tag offline. Uh, the way you add tags to specific notes, so if I just click on all notes, you can go up here and it's a simple little um, offline and enter. And that will now appear in the offline section of this. So as you can see, sync, very strong, uh, very interactive. Up here, I can create a new note. And as you can see, as before, a very simple experience. You can even search specific, specifically in all of the items. So if I typed in fruit, it would come up. If I typed in cloves, it would actually go into intricate detail, scanning all the text there. So the search is useful and valuable. Uh, if you tabbed uh, the I button, the information button, you can actually pin it to the top. Uh, and that's uh, great. And a markdown format as well, uh, so that you can actually kind of go into detail. You can see in the markdown format, you can actually uh, see the edits that you make. Uh, you can actually make markdown edits, which is very useful. Um, I mean, that's probably where the value is added. You can obviously uh, really go into much more detail once you understand the markdown information. These dots around these notes are indicating that it's been pinned, which is great. Uh, what I like about the info button on all of these is it gives you detail on the the, uh, the amount of words and also 
uh, the characters involved. So that's really valuable. And you can mark down specific um, documents, uh, specific notes, which is great. So this will appear on top uh, and is really great to get started with. So as you can see, you can also go back in terms of versions. So you can see different versions of the. So that's what they gave me at the start. And as you can see, it's slowly grown into that. And you can actually restore versions. So if I went back all the way to the start, I could restore I could restore that version and it would come up. And I can also obviously edit it like normal. You can delete the document from here and also publish it. So you can actually share a specific uh, link. So as you can see, that went kind of like live there. And uh, it gives you the ability to share that there. But what I'll do is I'll unpublish that one. Um, and you can do that there. Uh, you can also share it so that other people can um, and it can, other people can edit it as well. So it's actually a collaboration tool in there. You can print and send it by email. Uh, and up in the top right hand corner, you only have the ability to kind of view your settings and kind of go into detail there. As you can imagine, a very simple experience on Simple Notes. Um, you can actually uh, just change a few display things here. So how your notes are ordered, uh, what preview lines come up and tab key abilities and behaviors. But apart from that, it's a very dead simple experience. And uh, as you can see, I've got free accounts. So that might uh, play into factor. OK, so just a note on the Simple Note Premium. Actually, they've paused their premium upgrades for now. Um, so you can't actually upgrade specifically. Uh, which is quite strange, but it's something that they might, you know, have paused for some reason. Um, they might be going for a funding round or something like that. But uh, really interesting. Uh, I think Simple Note is a great way to kind of coordinate all of your tasks. Um, I think that, you know, it does the job that it says on the tin, very simple, uh, very noty. Anyway, guys, uh, I just want to thank you. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do, because I really appreciate it. I create videos every week. Um, for you guys to kind of consume and use in your daily life. I really appreciate all the effort that people have gone to to kind of share some of my videos recently. So if you enjoyed this, please do share it. And uh, I'm looking forward to making some more videos. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.